Hey, it's Mr. First Class. We're here playing Fallout 76 today to see if the Holy Fire is worth its holy title or destined for the legendary script machine. Let's find out. Looking at the Holy Fire's main legendary effects, you can see it's a vampire's, followed up by a 25% faster fire rate, and lastly, the weapon breaks 50% slower. On the left is the Holy Fire. On the right is the original Flamer, with the only difference being there is no faster fire rate mod. The Holy Fire most likely uses a standard nozzle, as the original flamer that uses the standard nozzle has the same range of 288. Immediately we notice that the damage is 7% higher on the holy fire than the original. We also notice that the burn damage per second is 100% higher on the holy fire than the original. These two cursed effects will continue over should you choose to re-roll the holy fire. Now comparing apples to apples we can see that when we re-roll the holy fire the fire rate is approximately 20% higher on that than of the original regardless of legendary perks. So to reiterate, this leads to a higher DPS than the original. But it's not to mislead you, the original flamer still allows you to change the nozzle for higher damage at the expense of range. But should you play a build such as a bloodied, keeping your distance might be the better choice as to avoid unnecessary damage which could be catastrophic if you are too close. On the left, I'm using the original holy fire and on the right I'm using its bloodied reroll. The original has great lifesteal. You can see even when reloading I'm able to withstand the attacks and regenerate health. With bloodied it absolutely demolishes in 6 seconds. Keep in mind fire damage does not stack so the extra 3 damage per second on the vampires would equate to an extra 42 damage over the course of the battle and an extra 18 damage on the bloodied battle so it's really marginal versus the original flamer. I quickly threw together a bloodied build based around the holy fire to demonstrate all the new possibilities available with the ability to re-roll these once in a blue moon legendary weapons. For this build I am using a full set of unyielding brotherhood recon armor which helps provide very good damage resistance in association with my perk cards. Moving on to perk cards, make sure you max out all the heavy gunner cards for maximum damage. Most important card to equip for a bloody build is Nerd Rage. Bloodied is a low health build, so take advantage of the additional 20% health, 40 damage resist, an extra 20% damage, and 15% AP regen. For the Vampire's effect, I have equipped it Ricochet. Having this card mean hits reflected on the enemy count towards the healing effect of my Vampire's weapon. The rest is entirely up to you, but for a bloody build, I'd recommend a similar setup to the one I'm using here. Under Legendary Per Cards, I'm using Legendary Luck, Agility, Intelligence, taking one for the team, which I highly suggest using. Enemies take 30% more damage when they attack you while on a team. Next up, Strength and Endurance. You cannot go wrong by using any of the special attribute cards in your build. Now let's take a look at a more competent enemy and see how these two Holy Fire variations stack up. Though Bloody was able to finish the Murloc Queen off a couple seconds earlier, the Vampires was not too far behind. This was due in part by how effective the faster fire rate perk truly is. The Holy Fire is essentially what the community considers a god roll for a vampire's flamer. It was a good idea on Bethesda's behalf to let you re-roll these new weapons, and I'd love to see this option on all future weapon content. Ever since the original flamer's vaporization nozzle was nerfed and many players stopped using the flamer, perhaps now that the Holy Fire has a fixed range, good durability, and a visually appealing blue flame, more events will be filled with happy-go-lucky pyros once again. So is the new holy fire worth the hype? I think so. I'll definitely be using this weapon moving forward. Let us know in the comments what you think of this new weapon. Thanks for watching.